family this is the first coat of uh, solar gold and I gotta say like this house of color um, base it covers very poorly in my opinion if you don't seal it you gotta put some seal on there because this front uh, fender flare here was white the rest of the the panels were black and just spraying the solar gold over the black and the white you will end up with two, two totally different color bases so it's important to seal every piece every part of your whole vehicle the same color so that you will have the same uh, color outcome on the base and uh, use the solar gold C2C BCO1 and uh, they cover cover real good once you get it out sealed you don't have to fight with the, making it cover and worrying about the coverage of it so we probably gonna um, go maybe one or two more coats but it cover real good so maybe we're gonna see after we put the second coat on see how it look and then we're gonna go to the candy put y'all back on in a second all right this is the second coat everything seems to be covered pretty good cut the light on you see do we see anywhere where it's not covered Everything covered pretty good on the second coat. I might just go over and dust, dust it one more time. Put a dust coat on. Just to be on the safe side. And then, um, we got the House of Color UK03. It's the Tangerine. It's my first time doing a Tangerine. I done sprayed just about every color candy. I haven't done the tangerine, so this will be my first time. But same process as all the rest. Take your time, lay it out uniform. And everything will be okay. I'll cut y'all back on when we get this uh, candy mixed up. Alright, family. So pulling up our candy mix it go two one to one so we're gonna pull we went 10 10 ounces on our candy we're gonna go to 15 on our hardener KU 100 then we're gonna go to another five ounces gonna make 20 with the reducer but the trick I like to do is kind of over reduce it because I don't like to spread wet because all candy is is a, a tinted clear coat and I hate spraying it wet so I over reduce it so it's not as wet and that will uh, allow me to uh, spread on and not get any runs or whatever just over reduce it just a little bit so I'm going to cut y'all back on after I get the reducer pulled up and stir it up Family, there's one coat of candy. Got good coverage on it. Have no uh, spray out or desired, you know, shade that we're trying to get to. He just told me to uh, put it on there and make it look good. So we're probably gonna go maybe four coats of candy. And just cover them real good, and we're gonna stop at four coats. Let 
gonna get these other coats put on. I'm gonna cut y'all back on. All right, finally we're back out the four coats of candy. I don't see any reason to go past four. Really three, I could have stopped at three cause it was covered like, and looking real good. It was only gonna get darker the more I put on there, but I think we got the, the true color, the true color of the tangerine. These will it'll really pop once we put it out in the sunlight, but we got the true color of the tangerine. So I think we good right here, four coats. Right now we about to apply the clear coat. And I'm gonna cut y'all back on after we get uh three coats of clear on. Alright family, we're back after three coats of clear. This is the finished product. Still wet. Just finished spraying it like 10 minutes ago. But Hopefully it don't die back. Die back mean once it dry, kind of dull out. It should lay wet like this and dry wet like this and remain wet like that. Flowed out real good. Like I said this is my first time spraying this uh, candy tangerine. And spray every other color of candy. I say it turned out pretty good. Alright family, so it's day two. Uh we in the shop with the second half for the bike parts. First half came out beautiful. And I'm real happy with how the second half turned out. So we actually done spraying all the bike parts. Got it done without a hiccup. But of course, you can't always make some mess. And I never think to put on my paint suit or my shoe covers. So of course, I'm all orange. I got orange all inside my pocket, orange on my shoes and socks. I had to orange up my nose because this mask, it, it, I should have get, I, I usually get a new mask every time I spray candy because that candy is just something serious. But um, yeah, I'm happy with how everything turned out. And um, I just want to share it with uh, some of y'all up and coming painters or uh, anybody that's doing this candy, trying candy and struggling with it like I did in the beginning. I just want to share a tip with y'all that a painter shared with me. Um, you know, first off, you want to start right so you can finish right. And what I mean by that is, use your sealers. Go ahead and seal your part, panel, or your whole vehicle. Because you want to start off with one uniform color. Before you put the base on, you want to start off with one color. That way, you will end up. When it's all said and done, you will end up with one color. You don't want your fender different from your door. Because you put a new fender on, black fender, and your door was white, and you just started basing. And believe it or not, those shades will make a big difference in the sunlight And um, once you finish. You, might, you probably won't be able to tell it. You know, once you're spraying, you think it's all based and all uh, one color base, but it really two different um, shades of base. Uh, I learned the hard way on that. Uh, so uh, yeah, so start start out right so you can finish right. But the tip that the painter um, shared with me, uh, shout out to Quincy, uh, Quincy hometown, and not too far from my hometown. We actually, uh, he's a few years older than me. He went to the same college that I went to on the same collision repair program under the same instructor. And the instructor, I always spoke about him. 
and um and we in a small town so you gonna hear somebody name ring and they making noise on the paint job so I would heard Quincy name but uh, one day I was at uh, Ryan out of motor supply in Jackson and um I bumped into him I got to meet him and I was buying some um I think maybe some apple red candy um yeah I was doing this uh Escalade I uh, was buying some apple red candy and he was looking he was like oh man I, I never spray that candy with like I always uh over reduce it like I hate spraying it with and I was like what you know what you mean by that he was like oh, um he explained it like over reduce your candy and uh over reduce it just a little bit so it'll go on dry that way you won't get in the sags of run and when I was spraying the Escalade, it was actually um, cool. It was like real cool. So um, that tip helped me out a whole lot. It you know, saved me from getting sags and runs um, by being cool. And in some cases, like on, on, on certain vehicles, like you, in certain areas on the vehicle, curves or whatever, creases, like that candy will get in there because our candy is, is a tinted clear. That candy will get in certain areas and get heavy and it's going it's gonna to run and sag on you. And once you get to that point, it's, it's, you got to stop. Ain't no coming back. Once you get to that, a run of sagging candy, it's time to stop. Let it dry. You're going to have to uh, wet sand. You're going to break out your techniques, your skills, your know how. And try to get the run out. And hopefully you can get the run out and just catch your candy back up. But if not, worst case you're gonna have to start over with your base. So this tip here, it um been helping me a lot ever since I've been doing it. Knock on wood, I haven't had a um I haven't had a um sag or a run in my candy ever since I've been doing it. So um that's my free game to y'all. Um y'all try it. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know how it turned out. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up. All right, sorry about that, family. My camera died. I had to let it charge up. But uh, like I was saying, um, you got any questions, you know, you can hit me up in the comments. I do read my comments. I will respond. Uh, you know, just let me know if y'all tried it out, how it worked out for y'all. You know, uh any painters out there that may disagree with it uh let me know and let me know why y'all disagree with it and uh let me know some of the things the techniques y'all use to um help these candy jobs go a lot smoother um you know i don't think i know everything about uh this paint stuff so i'm open to um any suggestions any gems any tips um y'all want to drop I might even try some, so you know, you know, I just I'm just doing what works for me, and I'm you know sharing what works for me with uh, some of y'all, so uh, y'all can try it. Um, I appreciate everybody that's rocking with the channel. Um, the channel started growing, man. I, I'm so appreciative of it. Um, I got some I'm um, trying to put together to show my appreciation to all the subscribers. You know, I can't touch each and every one of y'all but man i really appreciate it man from the bottom of my heart and um i'm putting something together you know we're gonna we're gonna have some coming real soon some type of giveaway to show my appreciation i know maybe um one two three of y'all to get lucky but i appreciate everybody that subscribed to the channel if you haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button push the bell so you will be notified every time a video drop and um don't forget to like, share, comment, and uh, we out.